guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You guys already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, you know, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on that little bell so you know every time I upload a video. So today I'm coming to you guys with my deep conditioning routine because sometimes I go weeks, sometimes months without deep conditioning my hair. I know it's bad, it's horrible, but I'm keeping it in 100, I'm keeping it in a book. That's just what it is sometimes. So when I do that, I do have a deep conditioning routine that strengthens and also moisturizes my hair. It's so, so bomb. It's a concoction of all that good stuff. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Show you guys how I get my hair from drag to fab or dry to moisturize, whatever you guys want to call it. It keeps my hair, you know, looking popping. As you can see, and nice and juicy looking. So yeah, if you guys are interested in watching, definitely stay tuned. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It does help me. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hey guys, so this is my hair about two and a half weeks old that I haven't deep conditioned it. And it is super dry and my scalp is flaking. I have so much dandruff and it's just nasty. So I'm going to show you guys how I restore my hair to get my curls back and looking healthy. Of course, the first thing I'm going to do is shampoo and condition. And then I'm going to go in with a hot oil treatment. So the oils that I'll be using are almond oil, apricot oil, castor oil, and peppermint oil. And those are just a few of my favorites. So almond oil contains omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. So it's good for adding silkiness to the hair and nourishing the scalp. And apricot oil actually contains linoleic acid, which is good for stimulating hair growth. So that is bomb. And castor oil is known to create thickness in the hair. So I definitely had to add that in there, even though my hair is super thick already. And lastly, I had to add peppermint oil in there because it increases the circulation. And also it is so, so good for dry scalp. So once that's complete, I'm just going to shake it up and warm it up for a little bit. And then I'm going to apply it to freshly washed hair, which is super important because you want to apply it on a nice clean scalp so you can reap all the benefits from it. So I'm just going to put that into my scalp and then massage it in. And massaging your hair is great because this will stimulate hair growth. And I feel like that's what's been making my hair grow lately because I've been giving myself a lot of scalp massages and... My hair's been growing super long. All right, so on to deep conditioning, which is the best thing you can do for your curly hair. So I'll be using the Shea Moisture Resilient Growth Protein Mask and adding in some almond oil, some apricot oil, as well as some pure 100% argan oil, as well as honey. And I'm not measuring this or anything, I'm just going by eye and putting how much I think I need. So this conditioner right here is going to make my curls come back to life. When I don't deep condition for a long time, I notice my hair needs a little bit of protein to make my curls pop again. So that is why I'm using this conditioner and adding in a bunch of moisturizing properties like the almond oil, the apricot oil, and the honey, which works as an amazing humectant, which adds moisture to the hair. And that argan oil is going to give me that shine that I really, really need. Once that's done, we're just going to mix it up and we're going to get a nice creamy, creamy consistency so this is my hair as you can see it's already dried up a little bit but I'm gonna be working in sections making it super easy for me so I'm just gonna spritz my hair with water and make sure that it's nice and detangled and then I'm gonna go in with the deep conditioner and I like to mainly focus on my ends because that's the oldest part of my hair which needs the most help honestly so we're just gonna start with the ends making sure that it's nice and moisturized and then I'm gonna move my way up and I'm sort of just putting it on my hair like I would a perm if you guys had a perm before you guys know how that goes and once my hair is evenly coated with the deep conditioner i'm going to twist it up and you see all of that white stuff that's what you want that's how you know your hair is going to be nice and moisturized because all of that is going to soak up and absorb into the hair so i'm just going to continue the same thing and work in medium sized sections by detangling and applying the product evenly throughout my hair making sure to focus on those ends And throughout the process, I am going to give myself a little scalp massage and apply the product there as well. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so once my head is complete, I'm just applying any of the excess product that I have all throughout my hair. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of the oil as well and put that throughout my hair just for some extra moisture. And I don't wanna waste product, of course. And then I'm gonna tie my hair up into a bun and apply a shower cap or a plastic bag, whatever you have and whatever will fit your head. And a plastic bag is literally the only thing that will fit my head right now. So I'm gonna use a plastic bag and because your girl did not have a dryer, I'm using a blow dryer and I'm applying some heat to my hair. And I'm going to do this for about 15 minutes. And if you have low porosity hair, this is going to open up the cuticles in your hair, allow the moisture to get in, and it's going to do you well. Trust me, honey. So, so after that, I'm going to apply another layer on just so it can trap in the heat. And yeah, as you can see, I'm going back with the blow dryer. And I'm just going to keep this on for about an hour. All right, so this is my hair out the shower. I did wash out the deep conditioner, and as you can see, my hair is so shiny. It's soft and so easily manageable. You can just see how like luscious the hair is. So this is the routine that I do when my hair needs help. It's starving, it needs some moisture. As you can see, my scalp is looking hella clean, which I like, and it feels amazing. All right, so this is the next day after my hair has been styled. As you can see, my curls are popping. They came back to life. My hair is very, very shiny and looking very luscious. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it did help. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. So yeah, if you are struggling with dry hair, definitely try this routine and let me know how it works for you. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in the next video.